Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 28. That is, what is alpha testing? Let me answer. Before understanding what is alpha testing, we need to first understand the different levels of software testing. There are four levels of software testing. They are unit testing, which is the first level of software testing, followed by unit testing, we generally perform integration testing. After integration testing, we have system testing. And finally, we have the last level of software testing that is acceptance testing. In the previous answers for the interview questions, I already covered what is unit testing, what is integration testing, and also I covered what is system testing also. So coming to the system testing, which is a third level of software testing, in the system testing, we focus on the requirements much. Okay, so in system testing, we'll test the entire application as a whole. Okay, as a whole, we'll test instead of testing individual units or a combination of units, we test the whole application as the entire application. We'll test it. Okay, the complete application we are going to test as part of system testing. But here, our focus is on the client requirements. Okay, whether the developers have met the requirements given by the client or not okay whether the developers have developed the application software according to the client given requirements or is the main focus in system testing if something is not working according to the client given requirements in the developed application by the developers then we are going to report the defects and get them fixed right so that's what is system testing guys okay testing the applic entire application as a whole and where we are putting our entire most of the focus we are putting on the requirements guys okay in this case client requirements but there is something missing in system testing guys. okay there is something that we are not focusing on system testing okay in focus uh, in system testing we are not focusing on something what is that something that is nothing but the user needs okay we are not focusing on what we are not focusing on user needs here we are focusing most of the focus is on the requirements guys. Okay, less focus is on the user needs in case of system testing okay but here in acceptance testing which is the final level of software testing the ultimate focus is not on the requirements okay requirements also is there but the ultimate focus okay the main reason why we are performing acceptance testing is user needs okay whether the developed software will meet the end user or customer needs or not okay if the end user or customer tomorrow after releasing the software into the market that end user or customer is going to use the software that whatever the developers have developed in this right but that software is according to the user expectations and needs or not will be checked in acceptance testing okay and this kind of checking for the user needs main focus by putting main focus while testing on the user needs while performing acceptance testing will be done at two levels okay two types you can say there are two types of acceptance testing the first type and second type okay one by one we'll follow first type comes alpha testing guys okay that's what is our current session all about right alpha testing alpha testing is or comes under acceptance testing okay alpha testing comes under acceptance testing is the first type of acceptance testing you can say alpha test is, testing is the first type of acceptance testing which is performed before the beta testing okay followed by alpha testing we generally perform beta testing so the first testing that is performed as part of acceptance testing to see whether the application that got developed is according to the user needs end user needs and expectations or not before releasing the software into the market Okay, as part of acceptance testing, we check whether the developed application is according to the user needs and expectations or not. That's what is acceptance testing. And in that first type of testing under the acceptance testing to perform the acceptance testing is alpha testing. So who will perform alpha testing? Who will perform alpha testing? In simple words, internal team will perform this. Okay, so what is internal team? And here coming to when I compare alpha testing, beta testing, we'll understand alpha testing even more better, guys. Okay, let me compare the alpha testing with beta testing now. Who will perform beta testing? Limited end customers will perform the beta testing. But who will perform alpha testing? Internal team will perform the alpha testing. What is the difference between the internal team and limited end customers? And uh, both are performing the testing according to the user needs and expectations. But here internal team is performing in alpha testing. Here, testing is performed by the limited end customers in case of beta testing. So, what is the difference between internal team and limited end customers and how alpha testing is actually performed by internal team? Let me explain. Okay. So, here, guys, what happens is let's say, let's say this is there is one company. Okay.
okay let's say there's some company let's say xyz xyz company is there okay and uh, this company want a particular software to be developed so what they will do let's say this xyz company has outsourced the work the development and testing work for making that particular software developed and ready and getting released into the market okay for that xyz company has outsourced the work okay they have done what they have outsourced outsourced the work to another company okay let's say there's another company like abc company okay this xyz company has outsourced the work to abc company and in return xyz company is paying some amount hourly basis or whatever that is based on the number of resources given by this abc company okay here abc company is a service provider company okay which has a good number of developers testers and other resources needed so this particular abc company has assigned some resources here some developers testers and all the team that is required okay managers and all those people okay it has given some set of people to work on this particular project for xyz company okay then what so what happens here is this abc company uh, with the help of developers and testers okay has uh, developed the application and testers have let's say testers uh, developers have done unit testing integration testing followed by testers have done system testing here okay here abc company has done unit testing integration testing okay developers of the abc company has done unit testing integration testing where the tester software testers of this abc company has done what system testing has been done by the software testers of this abc company and finally abc company stated that the software is now ready okay abc company stated that the software is now ready uh, and we are we are done with the system testing so we are done with kind of thing they mentioned in that case xyz company okay which has given the project or outsourced the project to the abc company will not immediately accept this particular software so xyz company even though abc company is stating that this particular software is entirely system testing is perfectly done and there are no defects left out even though abc company is stating that xyz company is not going to accept that so what the xyz com company will do guys here in xyz company there will be some people okay so there will be some set of people guys okay who know the business well okay who know the business well so the client side people you can say okay there will be some set of client side people who know the uh, actual business how the end users are going to use the software they know the business well so let's say these are the business team okay some business team ba or you can say ba also business analyst product owner whatever that is okay so that kind of people are there in the xyz company what these people will do is instead of accepting the software which has passed the system testing completely the xyz company will uh, will assign these people business people who know the business well of the software how the end users are going to use the software such kind of people xyz company will assign a task where this business people will come with a list of checklist okay they'll come with a list of checklist okay uh, the kind of you know right uh, real world use okay a checklist uh, containing real world uh, use or real world use or needs of the customers okay what the end users are expecting and all somehow they will come we don't have to think behind that somehow this business team will come with a list of things that the end user is expecting from the software okay they will do some whatever they will do they will do and uh, come to us with a list of things okay a checklist kind of things they will come across and they will okay they will be start verifying that guys this business team with the help of testers okay they, they, this business team may also ask the software testers here in this abc company okay so here where the software is getting developed but where here xyz company is having the business team who know the business and they are coming with checklist but uh, who know who has developed the software but abc company has developers right so this is a company where the software has been developed this is a company where the software has been developed right developed so developers are there in abc company developers are there in the abc company and here testers are also there in this abc company so so here what i mean to say is alpha testing alpha testing is performed on the software that has passed the system testing to verify whether this particular software which is cleared with the system testing is meeting the user expectations or needs or not we are checking here but who is testing that internal team internal team is doing that at which side they are doing who is testing this at the internal side Inter internal team is uh, testing where on the developer side that means this particular business team okay will travel to the developer side 
to the ABC company. Okay, with this checklist, this particular business team will either travel or sometimes they will not travel. Also, they will do it remote. Okay, online they can communicate and do it. So this business team, okay, will travel to the developer side. Generally done at the developer side, guys. Okay, they will travel to the someone from the business team will with this checklist will travel to the developers, uh, developer side and okay. Uh, after they travel to the developer side, what they will do, guys? What they will do? They will, with the help of the team, with the help of the team here, that is, with the help of developers. Developers will keep fixing the defects if any comes. If something is not matching the user expectations, developers have to fix them. And this particular business team, with the help of testers, okay? Here, testing team is also there. Testing team will keep testing, right? Along with the business team, here, testing team will also perform testing on the software here at the developer side itself. That is, ABC company itself. This business team. The developers testing team will work together while business team will focus on the business user expectations and needs testing team will uh, uh, if let's say how they work together uh, the business team development team and testing team are going to work together here business team of xyz company will come here and they'll come with a list of checklists so if something if the, this particular software which has already okay this particular software which are already Passed the system testing. This particular software already passed system testing, but still, business team is coming with extra checklist according to the user needs and expectations. They are coming with some checklist. This is how the software is going to be used in the real world. Like that, they'll come with a checklist. If this checklist, uh, if few points in this checklist are not working in this particular software, then business team will provide the feedback. Okay. So what is not working? What is working? They'll provide the feedback based on the feedback received or wait whatever the business team is asking for developer team will start working they will change the code developer team will change the code again who has to test the software to see whether it is working fine or not after doing this uh, development fixes and all testing team has to work that's how business team development team testing team has to work together here but who is actually driving this alpha testing who is actually driving this alpha testing the business team from the okay the client side okay the business team from the client side who knows actual business how the uh, how the end users are going to use the software who knows well are driving this particular process of alpha testing so in hence guys this particular developers or business team or developers are internal right they are not end users or customer they are the internal team okay this uh, whatever that have drawn here this uh, this uh, business team from the client company or these developers from our company abc company service provider company or this testers from the abc company or whatever the people are only from this company or this company we can treat them as internal team guys okay so this internal team will will perform the things at the developer side okay will perform the things at the developer side developer side that's what is alpha testing guys that's what is alpha testing so so but what happens in beta testing but what happens in beta testing guys in beta testing there will be something different guys that is here also the focus is on the user needs and expectations but here what will what will happen in beta testing is limited end customers will perform the testing how here the software will be released into the market okay to perform the beta testing who will perform the beta testing as part of acceptance testing after alpha testing is done after the internal team has approved that okay everything according to the business is right fine still Accept assisting will continue, guys, as part of beta testing. But how that will be performed? Who will perform that? Limited end users, real end users or customers are going to perform beta testing. How? After alpha testing is completed, the company, okay, this XYZ company will release the software into the market. This particular XYZ company will release the software into the market, but not to the entire public. But not to the entire public. The software will be released into the market, but not to the entire public, only to the limited set of customers. Only for the limited end users or customers, they will pre-release. Okay, they will pre-release that them to only few people will receive this particular thing. Once they get the feedback, once this particular XYZ company gets a feedback from this limited number of customers, by taking that feedback and by again development team fixing those particular things, feedback according to feedback, changing the test stuff and testing team complete the testing again we'll do a final release after that okay till then beta testing will happen who will perform the beta testing before final release a pre-release will be done to a limited end end users or customers okay who are real end world uh, user customers who will perform the beta testing on the software and to you see when when particular limited uh, number of end user customers generally test this particular software as part of pre-release or beta testing okay they will give you the feedback 
So the feedback is nothing but whether the software is according to the user needs or expectations will be done here. Your focus also is on the user needs only. Okay. In real world, like real world customers feedback wise, we are checking the user needs. That's what is beta testing. Once the beta testing is also done, everything is going well. Then the XYZ company here will release the final uh, final version of the software into the market. So an example, guys, for beta testing, an example is there. Okay. Why I'm explaining all about beta testing means uh, with if I explain beta testing, you'll understand the alpha testing better. You can compare what is the difference and all. Okay. So an example for the beta testing is, for example, every time you see the Microsoft company is releasing a new operating system into market like uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Windows 11. Now they are planning to release Windows 12 also as for today's date. Okay. So Windows 12 has not been released. Maybe tomorrow or whenever you are watching this video, Windows 12 may be available. But at this time, that is uh, 9th March 2022, Windows 12 has not been released in the market. Microsoft is trying to release uh, Windows 12 into the market. So they will not release a uh, Windows 12 directly into the market. What they will do is that Windows 12, they will release it to limited number of customers. Only limited people they will release first. And those customers will give the proper feedback to the Microsoft company. Using that feedback, Microsoft will still work, okay, work on that particular feedback and release a final version of the operating system into the market. That's how the things work, guys. Okay. Here, what is beta testing? That Microsoft thing that what Microsoft company is doing that releasing a software, pre-releasing a software into the market for only limited customers and taking the feedback from them is nothing but nothing but beta testing, guys. Okay. In simple words, but alpha testing is performed before beta testing. And this is actually not done by the end users or customers. Okay. It is done by the internal team itself. The people, business team from the XYZ company and developers and testers from the ABC company are going to perform the testing. That is what is alpha testing. But but here, who is driving the alpha testing? The people who are the business, the team from the the team the, that who knows the business. Uh, okay, uh, actual business uh, from the XYZ company are driving the alpha testing. They are driving the alpha testing and the development development team and uh, this uh, testing team from this ABC company are supporting them. Okay, to make that pop, pop process possible. So that's what is alpha testing, guys. So hope, guys, uh, I explained uh, in very detail like what exactly is alpha testing in this session. Hope you will be able to answer this question now. When you get uh, when you come across this question in the interviews, hope you will be able to answer. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to answer the next software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.